Good afternoon everybody, welcome to another video. As you can see behind me, back down a small river, this is a tributary of the Avon. Uh, work is finished for the day, I've come out for just for a couple of hours till it gets dark. Although I may fish into dark, I couldn't, really couldn't decide what to do today. I was I'm denying about going to the Avon, but that really will, it's very clear, will be bites as it's getting dark. So I thought I'd take advantage of the weather. It's been very windy of late, um, but they forecast to be windy today and it's not. Uh, they forecast to be sunny and it's not. So I've come out, grabbed my trotting rod and I thought i will do a bit of trotting. So what I've got is my Dower Tournament Pro. 15 foot coupled with my Abu Garcia 506 Mark II reel. Now what I'm going to do is do a bit of trotting down this stretch you can see here. I've fished here once before, I had a couple of chub out. It's not a stretch I've fished very often but uh, as I say I have fished it. So yeah I'm really looking forward to this. Now I was unsure whether I'll get anything going on the trotting gear so what I've done is I've grabbed my ledger rod as well so we can go for a rove and do a bit of link ledgering or feeder fishing should we want to but uh we'll touch on that as and when we do that and obviously we can do that into dark as well now baits i've got with me i've got um some maggots with me and some worms i'm not really intending on using that i'm really going to go down the bread approach i've got some bread and i've got some mashed bread as well as as feed which i've just been trickling in here in the sort of five minutes i've been stood here so yeah fingers crossed we can have a few fish out thinking chub Maybe we'll catch some roach as well. Who knows and who knows what else. Perhaps some day, some gudgeon, who knows? I don't know. Happy to catch some fish. Right, enough waffling. We haven't got a lot of daylight left. I'll, uh, I'm gonna crack on. And as I say, I've uh, fished here once before. We've got, um, you can probably see just the other side of the trees, there's a shallower area down there. We've also got a shallower area upstream, if I spin you around. That's a bit of cover over there. We could possibly put a link ledger under, should we so wish, or even the float. But yeah, I've just, I'd like to run the float down here with a bit of breath lift on that. My immediate plan, but uh, we just have to suck it and see. There's perhaps a couple of foot of visibility, which is a bit too much really because it's not very deep in here. From memory serves me right, as I say, I fished here once before a few weeks ago. So yeah, we'll have to just suck it and see. Really, I think we may we may struggle on the on the float today but hopefully not I've so I've been feeding a bit of mashed bread through the swim so we'll uh, <laughs> we'll see how we get on hopefully they've switched on to it now rather than shot I've actually got olivettes on the line here just, just, that I can move about between some float stops I've also got a, a drake alloy stem stick float there's a lot more coloured as I say last time we came and probably about a foot deeper as well <laughs> so we may we may struggle in these conditions maybe a case that we have got to get the link ledger out and drop it in these holes I think the chub may well be hiding away underneath the cover at the moment <laughs> There's barely any flow to float along either. <laughs> yeah, this is not ideal at all. This is I was wondering if it may be like this. This is why I bought the uh, the link ledger gear as well. Barely pulling the float along. I think this may be a bit of a non-starter. Yeah, I'm not feeling it here at all. I think we'll have a move upstream. Just a little way, that's uh, 10 meters or so. We'll have a little little dabble there in the shallows. Because uh, it does look a bit deeper on the other side. There's possibly some chub sitting in there. So we'll, we'll get on up, up there and have a little little dabble because there's just there's so little flow in here. It's just, I can't, can't trot at all. Right, let's go. So, take two. <laughs> the faster water just upstream from where we were didn't really appreciate quite how slow that last spot was <laughs> until I actually started fishing it but at least here we've got we've got a back eddy on the other side we've got a bit of flow under our feet so hopefully 
we might be able to wiggle something out. It's a chubba sitting. Maybe sitting a little bit further down in this flow or perhaps even in right in this current. Oh there we go. Oh I missed that one. Frog bite then. <laughs> Under that tree. <laughs> Not exactly trotting, but uh Nice to run it over there. Not sure what that was. Funny old bite, sort of float bobbed a couple of times, came out the water, <laughs> and then went then went under. Oh, let's try again. Caught me a bit unawares. Right. Again, sure, that'd be some chub sat under there. Bit of cover, bit of flow, bit of a back eddy. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Something's got hold of it. Oh, it's probably smaller fish. The way that went under again, then. I've only got a 12 on them, I and mean, I'm not fishing heavy by any means. Whew, I think someone's got a fire. It's really smelly. You know, the current's, current's grabbed that this time. It's not going anywhere, bizarrely. Very weird. Right, let's run that back under that tree again. Sink it under there. Nice to find out what it is. It's pulling the float under and it's disappearing. I mean, proper disappearing. <laughs> Whatever it is. There you go. Nope. <laughs> There we go. Hooked up this time. Doesn't feel too small at all. <laughs> Blimey. <laughs> well, he's off downstream. <laughs> I can't do a lot about it at the moment. <laughs> Trying to get any snags. Do you believe it? Oh, the current pulling so hard. <laughs> this float trying to get in the reeds. It's succeeding in getting in the reeds. Oh, what a lovely job. Didn't get him out. Wonderful stuff. Mr. Bites a few times, and I, I really thought small fish, but uh, he's a lovely fish. Well, there we are. Hold the net under him just in case he flips, but it's a cracking start. <laughs> Wonderful. Right. Now, let's, uh, we'll get him in the edge, in the net. Just for five minutes, see if we can manage to winkle another one out, if we can. Now I've got the keep net with me if we're going to perhaps stick around in a swim, but I'm not sure there's going to be too many chubs out under there. <laughs> but there was certainly one. 
try again. As I say, I'm <laughs> not overly convinced there's going to be any more down there. Certainly if they are, we, we may well have spooked them, but you never know. I did think it was smaller fish, but, you know, there's a couple of plucks and the flow was burying, but when you don't connect a few times, it's, you start to think that perhaps, perhaps you're not going to, you know, perhaps it's smaller fish and they're not taking the bait properly. There we go. Gotcha. This feels like a reasonable fish as well. I've got to get across this, this flow. <laughs> it's down by my feet. <laughs> oh, geez. that's not as big as the last one. <laughs> And there he is. You can see. <laughs> he charges up at the tree. If we can get them both in the net. Gotcha! <laughs> Well, there we are. <laughs> to say, not quite as big as the last one, but uh, it's a lovely brace. Right, we're going to give it another couple of minutes, and then we'll move on. I think. Let's just see if we can nick one more. So we will give it another couple of minutes, but I don't think it's going to pay us to stay here. I can't imagine there's half a dozen chub under there that are rubbing us. These two fellas. Man. Not particularly happy in this keep in this keep net landing net. So yeah, we'll just give it a couple of more minutes, just see if we can't nick one more bite out. But as I say, I don't think it's been worth, worth staying long term here. I think probably we've we've had all the bites we're going to get out of this swim. So obviously, the more and more their mates vanish, the more cautious they get. And there's not going to be any quantity of chub under there, I'm sure. Possibly three or four. Well, there's two of them in my landing net now. So. <laughs> yeah, I really can't see that they're going to be uh, carry on feeding. Who nice to go and have a wander up the stretch anyway, a bit of an explore in it. Right. <laughs> We're going to call it a day there. We'll get these, uh, these fellas back and we'll move on up the stretch, see what we can find. Go on, chops, back you go. There you go. <laughs> Fab. So I don't like to uh, to sit down when I'm, when I'm trotting, but I think if I don't in here, we're going to struggle. <laughs> it's uh, it's a bit precarious to say the least. I'm going to trot down to that tree you can see down there. See if there's any chub in. The other reason I'm not standing up is because if I spin you around, you'll see there's that just above me. So, I don't want a skyline next to that. I'm going to go fish to that in a minute from above. But we'll, uh, we'll have 10 minutes in here first. It's the only other swim I fished on this stretch when I came last time. 
I did have a chirp, not where you'd expect right down there, but at just out of the middle. Yes. <laughs> Who knows what might happen. I've got this maggot patch on, I don't know. I don't know where I've got it on. I have got any maggots in it. I bought it just in case I needed to, to use it if I was going to use any maggots. But quite happily using up this bread mash. This is bread mash left on a while ago. I went trotting on the Avon if you've seen that video. Leftover from that day, I never did. I said I was going to try and get out the next day, but I never did manage it. So I chucked it in the freezer. Now obviously just keep with this bread mass trickling in. And then uh, we'll put a hook in, in a bit of flake. That'll look just like the bit of bread mash that's going down, hopefully. Trick, nice big chop. Yeah, not a lot of flow in this swim, unfortunately. I will give it a go, it's worth a go for 10 minutes. better if there's a bit more flow and a bit more colour but at least the chub wouldn't be able to investigate <laughs> investigate the bait and decide whether or not they want to take it because with this much flow and this much clarity they've got time to really they can have a good uh, good check out of the bait as it goes past them and decide whether or not they want to bother Very big. <laughs> right, a couple of little stabs on the float, and then down it went. What's this? Oh, it's a roach. I didn't think it was very chubby. Oh wow, that's lovely. This is a, a fantastic surprise. Not huge, but certainly not small. <laughs> wow. Wonderful stuff. <laughs> That's fantastic. We all know how uh, roach love their bread. Right, a bit of bread punch. See what happens. <clears throat> it's a reasonable size bit. It's uh, just be interesting to see what happens with that. I'm sure, I'm going to hook up more roach. That's the way to go. We'll try a bit of bread punch for a few minutes. <clears throat> it's a bit of a toss up now because there's clearly some fish here, so I'm not sure whether to stay or to go. <laughs> Let me try a bit of a wander and a bit of an explore. I'll certainly, fish this raft next to me. There's going to be some chub under there. I also do like catching roach on the float. Too bad either. This is a roach. I think maybe we'll be staying. And it's not the day, so I think. Oh, a little chub, a little chublet. <laughs> there we are. <laughs> I, I could just fully commit, put the keep net in, sit here for a while. I'm not sure how long we've got left be able to float fish but uh, it might be worthwhile
Yes, it's 20 past four. So what to do, really? We get five minutes in here, see what happened. We pick up anything else, nice. Perhaps we'll stick it out here. If not, maybe we'll make a move. Go and have a look at there. Uh, looks like some nice runs a bit further up. Never really have enough time to do a lot of these swims when I come here. Well, both, never. Both times I've come here. <laughs> right, I've got a more sensitive tip. On the float. Just change the float over to, so like I say, one with a more sensitive tip. The idea being that it will be easier to pull under. See if that makes any difference. Probably wants a, another shot on it. It's a little bit too high, really. He says. Nat nearly got dragged under then, so perhaps not. We'll leave it like that. See, my fear, as I said, is that I'm going to scale down and scale down and scale down. And all I'm going to be doing is scaling down to catch small fish. I don't really want to do that. Got 12 on at the moment. Which obviously is huge, really. In the great scheme of things. But it's not huge. If I'm going to catch some, obviously, chub and nice roach. Oh, Robin sat on my rod. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> you're after some bread, aren't you, mate? If I need to strike, you're going to be in trouble. Well done. Yeah. You can have some bread for being brave. <laughs> That's fantastic. Right, what I'm going to try, something I've used in the past. When I'm feeding bread, bread mash. I'm going to scale right down, I'm going to use a white maggot. It can be absolutely cracking. I'm going to an 18. I'm just curious as to find out what these bites are, to be honest. Curiosity's got the better of me. It's about half past four now, anyway, I'm going to lose the light soon, I think. Yeah. We'll have to come back again. We'll come back again and we'll, we'll, we'll start the other end of the stretch. <laughs> right, I'm going to put something quite big on. Number one. To um, get the bait down. I say we'll try white maggot. I say I've used this quite successfully. Maggot's quite old. I actually got some casters in here as well, so we could use some of them. But let's just try that. They're used to looking out for little white particles, and that maggot can often look like a bit of bread. Like then it works. Nice bread. <laughs> Disappeared. Come on. Let me splodge that in. Just see what these bites are off. Perhaps we will have a move if we start catching minnows. <laughs> There we go. What have we got? 
A little roach. The white, white maggot trick worked. <laughs> he doesn't want to have his photo taken though. <laughs> there we are. <laughs> Certainly not down there, judging by the what's happened to the float. <laughs> ah, see this this was my concern. <laughs> this was my concern. <laughs> that we might be uh getting involved with a nest of minnows. All these little dips on the float and striking into nothing. Mm. Try a red maggot. Just out of interest. I might dig out a smaller bread punch actually in a minute. Perhaps a five mil punch. Well, handling, handle half an hour pulling these out. I have to say, I think perhaps we will stay put. Might be an idea. So I've bitten the bullet, put the uh, keep net in. We'll, uh, we'll stick around, I think. Caught a few roach now, so I think it's worth it. Now, off chance of a nice one, as it starts to get dark. Can't resist a roach these days, sucker for a roach. <laughs> I'm going to shot this float down even more though. This is the only problem, I'm going to get played with minnows. Poor minnows are supposed to calm down in the winter. No bites on bread. <laughs> Put maggots on. Minnows. Oh, finally, got another bite. <laughs> Not quite the roach. <laughs> Stamp of roach I was hoping to catch, but certainly nice fish. Not going to complain about that. We'll give it another five or ten minutes, and uh, by then I'm not going to be able to see this float anymore. I don't think I am going to stay on into dark this evening, not knowing the stretch. I don't want to go roving in the dark for the first time I've been to a stretch. We'll give it another five or ten minutes and we'll just see. Possibly a bit of a mistake staying in the end. But it did seem quite uh, quite good at first. Unless of course I've wrecked it by feeding too much or something. It's a possibility. But you know I think to trot anywhere else it's going to take a few minutes to get anything going. And by then I'm not going to be able to see the float anyway. Definitely uh, fancy a go with that swim just above that big raft but I think that's looking at it I think that's going to be more of a, a swim to tackle with the link ledger or, or with a little feeder surprised the chub hadn't muscled in here feeding all this mashed bread, bread above this bit of cover here it's starting to get dark I'm amazed they haven't made their presence felt You never know though. They might appear yet. Just to put you in the picture <laughs> about how dark it is. 
I can't actually see <laughs> to change hook links. That's how dark it is. <laughs> this camera is very good at making it look light. It's really not light at all. Right. Changing hook link, I'm just going back on a bigger hook just for the last five minutes or so. It's about all we've got. I'm just thinking, bonus big fish at the end, perhaps a chub, perhaps a nice big roach. I'm not going on a huge bit of flake, but I'm going on a back on a 12 and a reasonable bit of flake. Just see if we can't, as I say, get a bonus fish. Because you're really losing the light now, it's clouding over a bit as well, so. And dark, you're going to go dark even quicker. And I'm not going to be able to see this float in about five minutes or so. Not going to break out the uh, ledger gear today, I don't think. We'll save that for another day. There's no night fishing on these stretches anyway, so we can't, not as if we can fish for, on for a few hours can fish just sort of into dark and then uh, obviously rules say you've got to be off Outside the bottom. <laughs> well, looks like we have picked up a bonus fish, hopefully. I didn't really strike into it, I was just running it down the inside edge as you saw. And a float just went under as if I'd got the bottom. I, I thought, really thought I had. This is uh, certainly a chub. Come on, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I did wonder why they hadn't muscled in on the party. As you can see, he's. Uh, Trying to get under my feet now. <laughs> there he is. Cool. Got one. Wow. Oh. Now there's a proper one. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, that's about that. <laughs> that's a proper unit, that is. Wow. <laughs> Fantastic. Perhaps it was a mistake staying here after all. <laughs> Wonderful. Right, let's quickly get him unhooked and see if we can sneak another one out. Just nicked in the side of the mouth there. <laughs> Fantastic. I was really, really wondering why they hadn't muscled in on the proceedings. But yeah, I just thought I'd run it down the inside here. I have done a couple of three times already. Nothing's happened. Oh, one, one, the river. And uh, yeah, I just thought I'd try again, just in case this chub was starting to move out of that tree. But yeah, really, you think I got the bottom? <laughs> just there's no dips or anything on the float. It just did exactly what it would if it, as if it had caught on the bottom. You know, he's clearly sat there and just grabbed hold of it and just stayed exactly where he was, and the float just slowly pulled under. Wonderful. What if his big brothers around. <laughs> bread in and follow it through. Oh, very comfortable sat here, cramping my side. Oh. I so nearly can't see that. <laughs> it's just crazy. No, that's it, I can't see. <laughs> I cannot see anymore. Right. Time to go home. Well, it was a bit dark when we had a look at this one, so I thought I'd just put the lights on, just do him a bit of justice. Have a look at him before he, before he goes back. <laughs> Wonderful stuff. Right, let's get it back. Get back. 
back to his watery home. There we go. Off he goes. Well, wonderful stuff. What a cracking session that turned out to be. Chub and Roach, can't beat it in the winter, can you? Apart from those minnows, kept bothering us. But uh, apart from that, absolutely fantastic time. Really, really enjoyed that. It's been, uh, it's been wonderful to do it on the float as well. It's fantastic. I did think I'd have to get the uh, ledger gear out, but uh, didn't have to in the end. Um, but I do fancy a bit of an explore further up the stretch and perhaps we'll do that with the ledger gear or perhaps we'll do the same thing again but go further up the stretch this time yeah but that's for next time uh, hopefully tomorrow possibly uh, possibly a day after I'm not sure we'll have to just see how things are but for now thank you very much for watching I really hope you enjoyed that half as much as I did tight lines enjoy your own angling if you get out there and brave the cold many thanks to the channel patrons for your fantastic support and I'll see you all again very soon